Today, I'm going to review the elusive Reverse Taper Golf Grip. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. In my hand, I have something special. It's an Enlo grip. I don't know if you've heard of this company before. I actually happened on them while I was searching for a reverse taper golf grip. If you watched my video about my Jumbo Max experiment mounting that sucker upside down, you know that I am enamored with the idea of a reverse taper grip. Now, I'm not going to go heavy into the theory about reverse taper grips. For a lot of people, it's probably not going to make a lot of sense, although I think Probably anyone might be able to benefit from it, but today I want to cover the Enlo grip here in some detail because I have been using this pretty extensively. Now this grip looks about the same as any other grip and you would think it would mount on the shaft like this, but the hole to mount this sucker to a 0.6 inch shaft is down here. As you can see, the vent hole is right up here on the thinner end and the thicker end goes down the shaft. Now, just in general, why I really like this is because this hand gets a nice sturdy grip because it's a little thinner. And then this hand is more relaxed, especially in the single plane swing where you're basically pushing the shaft in line with your arms. It can be a little hard to get your hands all the way down like this. And so if you are comfortable holding it like this, as you twist the hand down, it kind of wants to stretch out those hands a little more. And so on the single plane swing, which is what I use, this makes a lot of sense to have this thicker portion down here. It just makes it more comfortable. I can get good purchase on that. And I am sold on the reverse taper idea. Now, there aren't a lot of companies that make reverse taper grips. In fact, most companies don't even make the straight taper or no taper grips. So just the traditional grip has obviously been around and is going to be around and people are going to be reluctant to switch away from it. But I might encourage you to try it out. So first of all, I want to explain that the thing I really like about this is the size. In fact, when I was experimenting with my own reverse taper grips, I was using the Jumbo Max Ultralight Extra Small and I reversed it on my club and it is about the same dimensions here. It's about an inch down here and about 1.2 inches down here. So it tapers and it's got a pretty straight taper. This will kind of blow out just a little bit when you put it on the shaft, but otherwise it's pretty much like the Jumbo Max grip. So if you have one of those and you're holding it like this, you can get a pretty good idea of what the Enlo grip will feel like if you just reverse it. So it feels awesome in my hands. Actually, this size for my medium hands, I a medium cadet glove, just FYI, is absolutely perfect. If I were a bigger handed guy, this would probably work just fine. But if you have smaller hands, I might say that this might feel a little too big. It might not feel like you can get a really good grip on it. So keep that in mind. Medium to large is probably gonna work just fine. Now, the material here is like some sort of rubber. And what you can see here is that there is a mold seam right down here and it's reversed right down there so basically they have some sort of clamshell mold and then they pump in this material and it's just a single material i think this actually might be the same material that a lot of regular golf grips are made out of because it's three or four times as thick it's probably two or three times as heavy and so it's just a fairly heavy rubber material this particular grip i weighed it at 132 grams i've seen it published at 140 grams and I think that's pretty heavy. And there are going to be some drawbacks of having a heavier grip like this. It's going to increase your swing weight. And so one of the things that I found after playing with this is I thought my shots were going just a smidge shorter than before I replaced my grips with these end low grips. And so I went to the simulator and I hit some really fair shots with this. And I can say that I lost pretty much five yards on every one of my clubs because of the extra weight on this club. Now, the nice thing about this is because it feels so good in the hand, you can actually go at things a little bit harder. And with just a little bit of effort, I was able to get my distances right back up to where I think they could have been. So the trade-off here is that because of the extra swing weight, you might end up being a little shorter, but because of how good these feel, you might be more accurate and you might feel more comfortable going after it a little bit more too. So oh, that's something to keep in mind. For me, I'm not really trying to eke out as much distance as humanly possible. I'm really trying to stay more consistent and accurate with my shots. And the way I do that is to make sure that I am in tune with my golf club like a Jedi with his lightsaber. And so when I feel really good and that I have full control over the club, I feel like I can do pretty much anything with it and I can be really consistent and not out of control. So this feels great 
right out of the gate. And I was as accurate with this as I was with any of my grips before. Now, the benefit maybe of having this extra weight here is that I think this works kind of like a shock absorber. On the miss hits or when you ground the club a little bit more than you think, you don't quite get that sting in your hands because I think there is so much material here to absorb that vibration. So if that's something that's important to you, then this grip might actually help insulate you a little bit on that. The other thing, and this is just a practical thing and it's not a huge deal, is that it is a little harder to get the clubs out of the bag because the wide end of the grip is right here. So, so what I noticed is that sometimes it was a little hard because this might hit the divider at the top of the bag or kind of slide along the shaft of other clubs. Now. Remember, if you're using a jumbo grip, it's just sliding this way, so it's maybe a little more tapered to come out cleanly and easily, but it's not a huge deal, and depending on the size of your bag, you know, you may have more space than others, but if you are using like a 14-way divider, that actually might be a great option for this, or it may just be too small of an opening to use it with these. I'm not entirely sure. So I really like this grip, but I think it could be improved. And so on my wish list, I wish that this came in some slightly different diameters. So maybe something that is just a hair smaller, 1 16th of an inch smaller. So maybe they would have more of a mid-size and an oversize option for different hand sizes, because I would love to know what maybe a, just a slightly smaller one would feel like. And I would also love to see this in maybe 80 grams or 70 grams. So if they would manufacture one in an Eva foam with a material on top to make it nice and grippy, I think that would be really awesome. I would also say that I don't think it would be hard for a golf grip company to make this. To be really honest, Jumbo Max could make this by taking their Jumbo Max ultralight molds and just making the same thing except putting that 0.6 inch hole on the fat end and then just putting a vent hole on the skinny ends. So using the caps from other size clubs just to finish it off, but otherwise they are making the perfect grip. It's just not reverse tapered. So I would love to see an offering like that. I get that these have been around a while and haven't really been really commercially viable, which is why a lot of big OEMs don't make them, but I would love a company in the low weight grip manufacturer category to make a reverse taper grip for us that is pretty similar in weight to our existing grips. So I have really liked this. I'm gonna to continue to play with this. And if you have been curious about trying these out, I'll put a link to these in the description so that you can pick them up. But Enlo is really almost the only game in town for reverse taper grips almost but if there are we'll be trying them out here peter von panda out